Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction guys. And of course before we get started remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share and press the notification bell so you can be the first to watch anything that's new that comes out Red United TV's YouTube channel. And of course if you want to contribute to the channel you can always contribute by sending your live a super chat while we're live and also click on the link in the description you can contribute via paypal as well and of course if you want to join bet us scan the qr code or click on the link in the description use red united tv one as a promo and you get 125 percent cash i mean i don't know 125 percent bonus as well guys it is what it is but we are here for this match reaction so it is leicester nil manchester united one manchester united collecting three points Second win away on the road, match United doing what they had to do. And of course, it wasn't the best second off, but the first 45 minutes, Manchester United was superb. A lot of players turned up in the first 45 minutes. And it happens to be a wonderful day. A day that Anthony has joined us and we are happy. And we are happy Manchester United fans. Although the second off could have been better, you know, a second goal would have been good. But what can we say? We take it as it is. Leicester were a poor side in the first 45 minutes, but tried to turn it up in the second 45 minutes in that second half. But apart from that, what can we say? We're just happy Manchester United fans right now. What is it? It's, it's, it's lovely. Like I'm enjoying life. You're enjoying life. We're winning games. We won three games. Clean sheet as well, two clean sheets. I'm sure David De Gea is very happy about that. The defense themselves is very happy about that. Dalo, Martinez, Ferran, and Malasia, and Malasia especially, he's done extremely well, especially in the first 45 minutes. Overall, the Man United playing in that 45 minutes, I said it before, we controlled the game. We was never looking like we were shaky. It was never on the back foot, you know. In midfield, we dominated midfield possession. We bust Leicester. Was, at times, Manchester United had 75% of the ball. At times, we kept Leicester in their own half. We kept them in their own half. We were sucking the life out of them in the first 45 minutes. What was missing, guys? Goals, of course. Just one goal in that first half. Second half was a lackluster display. Ah, where was it? Where was the energy? You know, we didn't create jack shit, you know. Ronaldo came on. What did he do? M made mistakes, wasted the ball away. But, of course, it was a second off when Leicester themselves, we know they was going to come back. They was going to try and do something. But the most important thing at the end of the day is the three points, baby! We got the three points, and I'm happy about that. Looking at the goal, whoo, that goal was scrumptious. First of all, big up Ericsson for recycling the ball forward. Although the Leicester players headed it back, Bruno Fernandes finding Marcus, Mark, finding Jaden Sancho, Jaden Sancho passing it back to Bruno, Bruno to find it to Marcus Rashford and Rashford to lay it on to Jaden Sancho's path for Jaden Sancho to just go around the goalkeeper and slot it in. And it was a wonderful finish by Jaden Sancho for him to get the second goal of the season. Delightful. That's all I've got to say. But apart from that, there is nothing else to say. A second goal we probably needed, but hey. We take it because I come on. Leicester our shit. They've been poor. But if I have to be honest with you, this time last season, we would have lost that game. On one hundred percent. We lost it. We lost that game last season. Pats and Dakar and in Yacho and it's such a school late minute goals and last minute goals. You remember that, guys. But this season, we won it. So it's a difference. It's a change. We capitalized on our failure from last season. And I'm happy about that. In terms of performance wise, players. Sancho did his thing in the first half, but disappeared in the second half. Bruno was extremely immense in the first 45 minutes, but then disappeared in the second half. Ericsson, first 45 minutes, dominated. He was the reason why we was controlling the midfield. And, of course, he probably is one of my man in the matches. Rashford had an okay game apart from the assist, but, again... I can't wait for Anthony, guys, you know, because I'm tired. Malasia was exceptional. Um, although he conceded the yellow card, he was a such a Tommy did okay. Ronaldo, phew, bro, I don't know about Ronaldo, guys. He's looking worse than he was as ever looked before. You know, the pass is not great, the finishing is not great anymore. What has happened to Cristiano Ronaldo? But he ended up with a game full time, Manchester United. 
nil. I mean, Manchester United won Leicester nil. Manchester United getting their win, which was the most important thing. Man of the match today, guys, has to go to Christian Eriksen. Come on. He was immense. Creating chances, dictating play from deep as well, and sitting back as well, doing things, orchestrating the, the attack in from midfield. And Manchester United are finally won in midfield battle. <laughs> it's just wonderful. It's wonderful, guys. Don't give the match. I think Elenga sucks. I mean, like, what do you want from me? Like, that's two back-to-back -back donkey of the match for Anthony Elenga. I know he's tri he does well when it comes to breaking up the opposition. Um, pressing. His pressing is good. But what he offers on the attacking outlet? Nothing much. Nothing much at all. So that's why he's my donkey of the match. Manchester United fans... Again, we take it one game at a time. We've got Arsenal on Sunday and we're looking to beat the ass out of Arsenal. Today, we whooped the foxes, you know. We went fox hunting and we were successful at it. So I'm happy at it. I'm happy, guys. Because normally, foxes run away from humans. But these days, they've got bulls just look at you and screw you in the face. And that's why we had to go fox hunting against these men. It's a shame for them, but it is what it is. Manchester United getting the three points. I can enjoy my my Thursday night going into my birthday. So make sure you guys wish me a happy birthday. I am going to be 33 years old. Black don't crack. And I look pretty and beautiful. It is what it is, guys. Remember to follow the socials, of course. Or remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share. Also, let me know who you thought of your, who was your man in the match. And also, who was your donkey of the match? And what's your thought on today's game as well? Did Match United do well in the first 45 minutes and then flopped in the second half? But it is what it is, guys. Until next time, remember to keep it united. You know what I mean? And remember to keep it red united because your boy is out. Peace.